already. So everything's done. Um, got the drop brackets on. Um, yeah, there they are. So um, I ended up, I paused it, which was good the last time, but I turned the screen off and that shut it down. So I had to start all over again. So I got my transfer case drop brackets in. Um, that's all done. I think I showed you earlier the U-bolts are in the back. Well, you can see them there. Got the sway bar on. Um, I have time right now, but I'm not going to do it. I need to change the transmission fluid. Or, it's a manual, but still needs changed periodically. Because this thing grinds going into reverse, and I got a feeling it's because it's low on fluid. I got to change the transfer case fluid as well. But that may wait. That's a little damp. I could put a seal in there without too much trouble. And then the other little minor mediocre triviality I have. I don't know if you can see the wet spot there. Um, I get a feeling before too long it's going to need a rear main seal. Not a big deal, but not the most fun job in the world because the transmission has to come out. So, anyhow, that's all I'm going to do today. Um, I am going to pause this and leave the screen going and prove that I do put my tools away when I'm done. So, um, that's where I am right now. I'm going to pause this, get my tools put away. This is the box. And the top one is the uh, Bicentennial Snap-On box um, for sale as the set without the tools. I'm keeping my tools. There's a lot of tools in this box that belong to my grandfather who back in the day was a line mechanic for Cadillac. So not getting rid of those. Some of the tools were my dad's. Um, I inherited some of those as well. Don't know where he got them. They're just tools that were his. Nothing fancy, no snap on or anything like that. Um, so anyhow, gonna let this down. Throw the back wheels back on it. And this is something for some of you older guys like myself to consider when you're gonna put big tires, bigger tires, there we go. Now, the, now there's light on these things. Um, yeah, bigger means heavier. And my back is not great to begin with. So, it's always fun putting these back on, not. So anyhow, I'm gonna throw the, drop it down a little bit, throw the tires on and put my tools away and then I'll be back just to prove I put my tools away. So pause and be back. All right, I did figure out how to pause it. Let's get over here. Uh, she's all done for today. Didn't do the fluid changes. Also have to do the front and rear diff. But I think I'm putting a locker in the rear. I talked to uh, Matt over at Bleepin' Jeep and uh, asked him where he thought that should go. I was kind of thinking the rear anyhow, but uh, he said definitely the rear. So, um, okay, I'll prove it. There you go. I put all my tools away. Those were tools that were left laying on here that are not mine. Um, and there's the box all closed and locked. So everything is put away. It's where it's supposed to be. Not missing any tools, which is good because I hate missing tools. Um, so this is the final stance with the... Uh, three inch zone lift kit. Like I said, I put full spring packs in the front and coils or in the back and coils in the front. Didn't go with the puck and add a leaf. It just seemed pointless to me and I've seen so many guys on YouTube 
going and losing that and putting a real lift kit in with you know the new spring packs and the coils and the new shocks and everything the only thing that's uh i think i may need to do on this at some point in the near future is uh the brake lines the back one's pretty it's got a little bit of slack in it but if i go up <laughs> it's not going to be pretty and i've driven this thing with no rear brakes and it's not fun so anyhow i'm going to try and put together a slideshow with all the still photos i have of this thing and put that up and i want to put them in chronological order from the time when i bought this thing and i bought it in 18 january of 2018 not 2017 so in that wrap-up video i've had it a little over a year and a half not two and a half and it's been going through a continuous transformation um so anyhow that's where i am today she's all done um for now till i do next break and have some time to do the fluids in the front and rear diffs the and the oil in the engine's already been done so i don't have to worry about that and uh Overall, I'm happy with it. It's a bit of a booger for me to get in and out. Um, I kind of got to duck my head, which is hard for me to do because uh, I've had uh, uh, fusion on C5, 6, and 7 in my neck. It kind of makes it hard for me to bend all the way over. Plus, I'm old and I'm fat. So, anyhow, drop a like, drop a share, subscribe. There's more to come. Plenty more content. I have more videos to upload of the progress. Um, well, I don't have plenty. I've got about maybe half a dozen more to upload that I have not yet uploaded. This will be the most recent. So, anyhow, happy days. God bless.